hopefully they've never experienced a story in this way, where we've been able to bring the jungle and these characters to life uh, through this technology in a way that I've never seen, and hopefully they feel like they've never seen it. And in terms of that technology, can you talk about the specific challenges and what you're most proud of looking at the finished product? Well, the challenges in this case is that you had to know exactly what you're doing before you ever shot a frame of film. Uh, before you knew where the kid was going to be, you had to have already created a jungle environment. You had to know exactly the size and scale of your character, where they were going to be at any point in time. So you had to make the movie in many different fashions before you ever shot the movie. And I've never had to work that way, and it was an education for all of us. Of course, these are such beloved and familiar characters, but can you walk us through the voice cast, particularly bringing them to life? Yeah, so uh, Bill Murray was a quintessential uh, get for Baloo. He, um, he lives his life already. I think he, he comes off the shelf ready-made to play this character. Sir Ben Kingsley was the first choice to play Bagheera. He has, he has a stern re regality, and, uh, but also there is a warmth underneath it that we really loved. Shere uh, Shir Khan getting Idris Elba was sort of a, a dream for us, and I think that he, um, he's done wonders with that role. Uh, Lupita as the uh, nurturing mother character Raksha is phenomenal. We had Giancarlo Esposito playing the alpha uh, male wolf Aquila. Uh, Scarlett Johansson brought her most hypnotic quality to, uh, uh, to Ka in a whole new way. So we were just thrilled with everyone. Uh, you had to pick your moments and I think John understood that there were certain things that you wanted to see, certain things that were in our collective memory. And I think he found a way to pay homage to those moments and that imagery. And then in other ways he could just become uh, both in being inspired by Kipling and also finding new ideas could go on his own path. John of course is standing beside you now. He's a fantastic director. Um, what makes him such a great director though as someone who's worked with him? The amazing thing about John, obviously he has a background in acting. He's a writer. He's become a phenomenal director. But he has an uh, amazing skill set where he can do multiple things. He can really figure out how to crack open a character, how to give you uh, charm and warmth and humor. He figures out how to give you wonderful action sequences. He knows how to give you emotion. Uh, it's hard to find all those things just in one guy, and John does it. Talking about one guy, at the heart of this story is young Mowgli. Um, how difficult was it to cast that part, and what do you think the character of Mowgli represents for an audience? Well, first of all, it was a huge task to find this kid who had, again, this, this embodiment, this young guy. That he had, we knew we had to cast someone between 10 and 11, and when we found Neil, uh, immediately we found the soulfulness and all those traits that we just think needed to embody that guy. And so we were very fortunate to find him. And, but he had a huge task, and I think for us, Mowgli represents this, uh, I think this indomitable spirit. This kid, he overcomes so much in this story. And he actually teaches, you know, even as young as he is, he teaches so much to these much more mature characters all around him. And so, uh, and that has a lot to say about finding your own way, choosing your own identity, figuring out what you're going to be for yourself. And we thought that was a message worth sharing in this film. There's been speculation that we might see the story continue on the big screen. Um, can you comment on that at all? Well, I think it, the nature of this story, and even with Kipling, was that there were many stories to tell in the jungle. And so we always felt like if we succeeded, it would be fun to tell more stories, but we never want to get ahead of ourselves. This film has to connect with its audience, and if it does, it's a really worthwhile conversation, I think, to figure out what other stories are worth telling. I, I hope they feel like they've been transported to a place that they've always dreamed about being, you know, just in terms of the escapism of it. I also hope that they feel like they, um, they've found a new way to look at the world uh, and, and ways that even translate to our everyday world.